Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, if Syria is at the top of the Foreign Secretary's intray, Britain's relationship with the European Union is the other foreign policy matter troubling him and his colleagues, none more so than the Chancellor, who in a speech in Berlin lavished so much praise on his German hosts, he might as well have uttered the immortal lines, Ich bin ein Berliner. He said there was a deal to be done on the UK's membership of the EU, but insisted that the voice of the pound must be heard by Euro members. Our Europe editor, Matt Fry, reports. <laughs> I had uh, dinner last night uh, with Wolfgang. Uh, he took me to an Italian restaurant uh, while we're on the uh, <laughs> on the food theme, uh, and we uh, reflected on the fact that we are Europe's two longest-serving finance ministers. Uh, and while we've been sitting at the G7 table, we've seen 18 other finance ministers uh, come and go. Wolfgang, for those of you who weren't there, is of course Wolfgang Schäuble, Germany's finance minister. Not an obvious candidate for any bromance. But massaged by their meal last night, George delivered what sounded like a love letter this morning. Not just to Wolfgang, but to Germany. Who would have known? When we crowded round our TV screens to watch the wall that ran through the city quite literally being torn down, remains the single most extraordinary and exciting and exhilarating uh, political moment of my lifetime. This Anglo-German partnership is on display in the new Formula One champion. The ingenuity of a British driver, Lewis Hamilton, powered to success by a German Mercedes car. But this was just the preamble. We need to talk. George was telling Wolfgang and everyone else about that ever closer union thing. It needs to be a European Union that works better for all of the citizens of Europe and works better for Britain too. It needs to be a Europe where we are not part of that ever closer union that you are more comfortable with. That frankly threatened to spoil the dinner. The tagliatelle suddenly seemed such a tangle. I tried to channel George and Wolfgang with Dennis McShane, uh, Labour's former EU minister, yeah, a man with an ear for any Brexit murmurs. The Germans believe in the concept of handle, that's trade, Hanseatic League. Handle is I give, you give. We're prepared to help you as much as we can, short of tearing up all the treaties, but please give us something back. Let us read in the English papers that you are now turning to the British people and saying, Nigel Farage and UKIP are wrong. Much of the Eurosceptic press has been barking up the wrong tree for the last few years. Britain must not isolate itself from Europe. And let's face it, we're more deeply involved in the relationship than we even thought. Zum Wohl. Ich trinke ein Glas Wein. Ein Verre du Vin. Yeah, my, my parents' generation didn't drink much wine. <laughs> they didn't eat this delicious <laughs> pasta. They didn't jump on Ryanair and EasyJet, all of which could come to a dead stop. But of course, even Nigel Farage, who's married to a German, would say, well, none of that has to stop. We can carry on living, breathing, drinking, eating in a European way without the laws from Brussels. But you never know about the unintended consequences, do you? For most of us, there are extraordinary advantages that we've got quietly, thanks to European law, and we'd be daft to throw them away, or even put them at risk. There's George and Wolfgang, and then there's the other couple. Thank you very much. David and Angela. No shortage of sweet nothings, but if he can't trust his own party, why should she trust him? I've been getting away with it all my 